this is a follow-up and companion video to the previous one regarding the step sequencer and introduction to indeterminacy in Kima. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can bring some indeterminacy to the inter interval values while at the same time confining them to a certain scale. In this case, I've done all seven Greek modes here, uh, as well as a whole tone and a couple of others. And I'm going to show you how to do that, as well as set yourself up for any intervals or set of pitches that you might like. When it's done, it's going to look something like this in the VCS and in the sound editor, something like this, which looks a little bit crazy, but it's a bit like a console in that if you understand one channel or one sound here, then it just repeats with a little variation for all the others. So let's, let's get into this and have a look. This is the place where we left off last time, remember with the velocity dice and the switch dice. What we're going to do now is bring the indeterminacy to the interval. So what I would do is start with File, New, and just get a sound file. And from your empty sound file, just drag one of your dice replicators that you have in the sound here, and then double click it. Perfect. So we're working with this now. And the reason we're doing this is so that we don't have to change everything. The replicator is mostly set up the way we want it. We will just change this to interval. Perfect. And then I'm going to put all these recipes for the modes and scales from my sound in the description below. So you can just copy and paste. Um, it is a little bit of work to type it all out. Might be good to do it once or twice just to get some of the syntax of the code uh, under your fingers, but you can just copy and paste it all. So that's actually what I'm going to do with mine is just go over here. Um, the first one is Ionian. That's the first natural major scale. So in my triggered sounds of global controller, I've got this bit of code, which for now I'm just going to copy and paste, but I'll show you what it all means here. So you just paste from the description. Into these parameter fields. And then if you're following the same naming convention I am, we would want to change this dice to Ionian interval dice and then Ionian interval replicator. Dice replicator. And now it's ready to go. I'll just double check everything. And now that you've got it here in its own sound editor, you can just double click the mixer of this sound and then drag your Ionian interval dice replicator into one of the inputs or into the input. Double click the background and there it is. Perfect. And now we're, we're mostly there. I do want to point out to you that I'm grabbing this interval parameter from the key pitches parameter uh, value setting here in, in the step sequencer. So I want it to be named this exact same thing. All right, let's hear this. And this will start off as a fader. I like to have it as actually a toggle fill. And the reason for that is so that I can see what's selected. So you unlock VCS, resize it. something like this. And 
and then you notice when I click it, it stays on and then randomly generates these intervals which are confined to the Ionian scale, which I'll go over here shortly. But if I just made it a button like this, you see when I do velocity, it disappears. Not a big deal there, but once you have a bunch of these dice going and you have some presets saved, pretty quickly you're going to have no idea where they came from. So this is one way to get around that. Okay, so let me explain this Ionian intervals to you here. This is the natural major scale. I'll start from zero because it's a little bit easier to understand. Zero is essentially the tonic here. And then the formula for a natural major scale is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And how that looks in terms of note numbers is this section right here. So this is the tonic, and then we go a whole step, which is two. Remember, these are note numbers here, two note numbers. And then we go two more note numbers, so whole step, whole step. Then just one note number is a half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, and then finally a half step. Remember, every 12 note numbers is an octave. So now we're up one octave and going down is just descending. So you can see here that this is a four octave range. Negative 24 is down two octaves. Up 24 is up two octaves. So really wide range, you can confine it and all you have to do is just simply not put them in the array here um, or you can expand it and just add more. And then all you would have to do is adjust this index number, which I'll explain this whole expression to you now. So we've got this button here, triggered just like our dice in the switch in velocity, and I'm calling it Ionian Interval Dice. So when I push that button, it generates a random number between negative one and one, takes the absolute value to put it into the range of zero to one, and then I'm multiplying it by 28. This 28 comes from the size of the array minus one. So there's actually 29 values in these parentheses here. The reason you only want to multiply by 28 is because it starts counting from zero. So zero to 28 would be 29 indexes so that each one of these can be chosen. So that's how this is working. If you only wanted to confine it, say, to two octaves from negative 12 to 12, you would just delete everything here and there and then adjust your your value here to accommodate that and that's the basic formula for how you're going to do this if you want to go through all the modes as i have and or create other ones for yourself you just follow that same recipe if you have it off in a, another sound editor like this it's particularly nice because like i said the replicators set up for you so you don't ever have to change it once you've got interval type there you'll just simply change it here, which is where you would copy and paste from the description I have below. And then you'll just rename the replicator and the triggered sign to global controller and just keep dropping them into the inputs field of the mixer. And pretty soon it will get a little crazy there. So just keep reorganizing and adjusting the VCS like we did previously here. And have some fun with this. It's pretty cool. Um, and, and once you're done, it's going to look something like this. Or could look something like this. And it's a, a great way to get started and have some flexibility. So you'll see now when I hit Ionian, changes to all the intervals from that scale or potentially all the intervals, Dorian, Phrygian, I've added a whole tone, so only whole steps in that, half whole, pretty interesting, kind of breaks the rules to grab them sort of randomly like this, but nevertheless uh, an interesting tonality there, microtonal where you'll see we're getting into fractions of the half step, pretty dissonant but can be very cool. 
and then harmonic minor again i'll have all this posted in the description should be pretty easy to follow um, a little bit of work but once you've got it set up uh, you don't have to do it again and then you can just drag and drop these uh, into other sounds um, so if you have any questions please feel free to reach out and i appreciate you watching please like and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing and we'll see you in the next video thanks